What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time for another Q&A! And good job, the questions are getting better! Woohoo, so... Let's stop lollygagging, ask your questions for next episode down below. Make sure there are no duplicates, as always, because I always get duplicates somewhere. And, um, um, here we go. Amazing Pivot Studios asks, what's my best universes? Um, well, my favorites are obviously Heihachi vs. Akuma and Ryu vs. Knuckles, like I've said in previous episodes, but... My absolute best episode of universes that I think um, is the best is any one of my Disney duels, because those always do super duper well. You know, Tarzan versus Peter Pan, Mr. Incredible versus Wreck-It Ralph, and um, Maui versus Hercules. Those always do super well for some reason. And question number two, what's my best fictional fights? That one's easy, Aang versus Poe. That one got ridiculous amounts of support and enjoyment behind it, which I'm surprised by because Aang died. He's an Avatar character. You know how that those guys are. I, I'm kidding. I love Avatar, but the fan base is kind of... Uh, I'm a victim of this. Um, and question number three. Favorite Cartoon Fight Club episode? Anyone where Jin wins? <laughs> where Jin destroys Ryu because it just further supports my Jin versus Ryu results. Even though Animation Rewind included odd feats for why Jin would win, like the Punching so hard it shattered all the glass in a skyscraper. I mean, that's a good feat, but it's not even close to Jin's best, and that still makes him beat Ryu, but it's just it's just odd. But yeah, I really like those episodes. Penguin Party 119 asks, what's my favorite Super Mario Logan video? Um, I'll have to think about it. There's so many videos, it's kind of hard to choose, but one of the special ones I really liked recently was like the drawing Jeffy one. I just thought it was a creative idea. I mean, yeah, it was ripped from a SpongeBob episode, but I think they did something more hilarious and unique with it. Um, <clears throat> well, not more hilarious and unique than the Spongebob episode, because that was a riot. Nothing could beat the Spongebob episode, but I mean, more hilarious and unique compared to other Super Mario Logan videos. Um, question number two. My favorite video game console. My PlayStation 2, of course. That thing's been with me, like, almost my entire life. And even though I love my PS4 to death right now, nothing can ever replace my PS2. <laughs> And question number three, will I ever do Gordon Freeman from Half-Life vs. Lara Croft from Tomb Raider? Um, probably not yet, maybe, because I don't know anything about Half-Life, I only know Tomb Raider stuff. But I'll look him up and see, see what we can do about that. Yoshimitsu Gengar Fighter asks, He doesn't believe in God, so does that make him less of a human to me? Of course not! What kind of question is that? Your beliefs don't make you who you are, it's your behavior. You can believe whatever you want to, and us as Christians have to respect that. I mean, that falls into the golden rule that I talked about in one of the previous Q&As. Do unto others what you want done to you. So if I want you to respect my faith, I will respect yours. Simple as that. Question number two. Do I like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter more? Definitely Street Fighter. I mean, I like Mortal Kombat too, but it's uh, kind of not... I don't know, it's not deep enough mechanic-wise as like Street Fighter and Tekken and all that other stuff. It's just not as challenging as the other fighting games. And third, do I like Yu-Gi-Oh, Fairy Tale, and The Twilight Zone? Yes, no, and never seen it. Adam Gregory 3 asks, have I played ukulele, and if so, what do I think about it? Um, I haven't played it, but it looks pretty fun. I'm just not sure about getting it though, because I'm, I really don't like the company behind it. They just do a lot of shady stuff like denying refunds, the whole JonTron incident. It's just, it's not cool, man. I don't know. I mean, I want 3D platformers to make a comeback, but not in a scummy way. Um, question number two. Uh, have, I considered, have I considered using respect threads for research since uh, reading stuff like comic books and manga hurts my eyes because I have, a visual, I have a visual disability, so reading stuff for a long time makes my eyes strain and hurt? And yes, I have used respect threads before. I actually used them for Aaron vs. Wander because I was super behind on that episode. And I was like, I gotta get this out, so... As I was watching the show and checking up other stuff, I was also using respect threads for info and feet and stuff, and it helped out a lot. I think the episode came out well and accurate. And question number three. Um, have I ever considered using mythological characters? Like, not interpretations of them like Marvel's Thor or anything, like the actual mythological Thor. And yes, I have. I I actually used lots of the actual mythology of Hercules and Maui for that episode, and I might do the actual Hercules and Maui later on, maybe or just some other mythological heroes. So that'd be pretty fun to do. I'm interested. Ramesh Fernando asks, um, what are some of my favorite bands and musicians? I like the Gorillas. I like Aerosmith, I like Queen, all a bunch of classic rock stuff, like the Offspring and all that. It, they're cool. 
Um, I don't limit myself to any musicians or genres, though, because I just listen to whatever catches my ear. Like, I don't typically like pop music, but if there's, like, one song that I just like for some reason, I won't shut it out just because it's pop music. I don't put barriers on my music listening. I don't want to ruin the enjoyment, man. Music, man. And question number two. Would I rather be omnipotent or have immortality? Neither, because living forever would suck. Ugh. And question number three. Would I do the deed with someone before marriage if I was offered all the money in the world? Absolutely not. One, because it is against my beliefs, and two, because that is prostitution and that is illegal. And three, that it'd be boring. What would I do with all that money anyways? The MLG Avocado asks, Would I ever redo Goku vs. Saitama for universes since it was so wrong? Um, probably not because everyone knows it's so wrong. <laughs> Ooh, it's not even a contest. And question number two, would I ever make universes my full-time job? I mean, I wouldn't want to do universes forever, but I mean, if it got me to the point where I could do it for a full-time job, I definitely would for a while until I could try something else that could carry me too because, I mean, as much as I love doing universes, I don't want to be doing it the entire time. I don't want my whole channel to rely on it. And question number three, what do I feel is the least accurate episode of universes? Um... I'm not sure, but maybe Peter Pan versus Tarzan, simply because it could go both ways, so saying Tarzan wins is technically wrong, since Peter does have a chance of winning. I mean, it's more in Tarzan's favor, but Peter still does have a huge chance. So, I guess Peter Pan versus Tarzan, because I said one thing, even though it could almost equally go both ways. K-Man Carberry asks, Dude! How do you keep getting in these Q&As? Why do I keep picking your questions? You've been in every single one so far. Give others a chance, okay? Pfft, oh, who am I kidding? This is my fault. Anyways, question number one. What is the thing I've spent the most money on? My PlayStation 4. All the games I've bought for it, the console itself, the controllers, the chargers, everything. Um, every other console I've gotten has been a gift, but my PlayStation 4 is the very first console I have purchased myself. Question number two, who do I think is one of the most overrated characters in all of fiction? Definitely Gurr from Invader Zim. I mean, he just screams about waffles and random stuff. I think Zim and Dib are the funnier characters in the show. Not Gurr, he's just really loud and squeaky. Question number three, is there any episode of Universes that I planned to do but ended up not doing? Oh, speaking of Gurr, there was actually Gurr vs. Clank planned, but it was scrapped because I couldn't think of what to say about them because they both have so little, and it's obvious Clank wins anyways, so yeah, no Gurr vs. Clank. A Gaming Potato asks, what's the bravest thing I've ever done? Um, making Saitama beat Goku in fictional fights. <laughs> oh wait, you said bravery, not stupidity. <laughs> Question number two, have I ever dated anyone? Yeah, I've actually had a couple girlfriends. One of them was even in my channel art, like during most of the time of 2015. Um, but things don't always work out. They came and went, yada, yada, yada. I don't like to hang in the past. I want to look to the future and find a better girl that will hopefully be the one. That's what we all look for, right? And question number three, have I played Shovel Knight? Nope. Just, just nope. I want to, though. Pineapple Guy Carmine asks, would I take immortality but never be able to get rid of it? Um, of course not. I, um, this is an accidental duplicate question from earlier with the whole omnipotent versus Im 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 immortality thing. But no, I would not take it because living forever would suck, watching everyone die and then you being unable to die and it's not fun. I want to die. Well, not now, but someday. I mean, I don't want to last forever. Uh, question number two. What elemental powers do I want? Earth, definitely, because it seems to be the most creative one and the one you can do the coolest stuff with. You could make buildings in seconds and mountains in minutes and yeah, be cool. Question number three. Are any of my upcoming universes episodes suggestions or ideas? Or like my ideas and stuff. Uh, most of them are ideas I came up with, but there are quite a few suggestions there too. Um... There's one specifically, though, that I'll have to wait until, um, <clears throat> Splatoon 2 comes out. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, there's some, there's some suggestions, no big deal. Hassan the Mighty asks, who do I like better, Raiden from Metal Gear or Dante from Devil May Cry, and who would win in a fight? I like Raiden more, but Dante would win. Simple as that. And finally, Brabuscus asks, what's my favorite DBX? Um, I like Paul versus Guile the most because 
Both of them were kept really well in character, and it's nice to see a Tekken character on screw attack, since they won't use him for death battle. But like I've said many times before, I'm kinda glad that they won't use Tekken for death battle, because they'd probably mess up the lore and stats and all that. Ugh, oh, boy. I don't want them to touch my baby. And question number two, what do I think of Transformers? Um, I'm not sure. Unlike most kids, I was actually not much of a Transformers person. I just wasn't into the whole giant robot thing. I was more of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Power Rangers kind of guy. And I know the Megazord is a giant robot and stuff, but it was... The Rangers were cool. As themselves. <laughs> yeah, that's my thoughts on that.